So here's question 10 of the International Ed Excel paper. One of the questions that caused some problems uh, when you did it. Um, right, it's just try and unpick some of the information we've got here. It talk, well, we've been asked for the cross, the, the cross sectional area is increasing. We've been told that that's increasing at a constant rate. So let's write that down. dA by dt equals pi over 20. Okay, so we're told that. We're also told that the, uh, we're told to effectively give it a formula for the volume that we're, well, we can work one out easily because the volume will be equal to this cross section times by this length. It's the GCSE formula, cross sectional area times length, or pi r squared h if, uh, if you want to use it that way. So that's pi x squared times 6x. Uh, so that gives us v is equal to 6 pi x cubed. So dv by dx equals 18 pi x cubed. Now, the x squared. Uh, now, the um, we've got we're being asked for. That's always what I always like to write down. What we've been asked for here, and sit, uh, and then try and think kind of strategically about what we're going to do. And we've been asked for the rate of change of volume, dv by dt. Okay. Right. Well, we've got d. We're given dA by dt, um, and we're given dv by dx. Um, if I can find dx by dt, yeah, if I can find that, then I can use the chain rule here to work out d, uh, dv by dt, because that, the chain rule multiplying those two together will get it. So, oops, dx by dt is where what we want perhaps would be helpful to find out. Now that's not given directly, but we can work it out um, without too much uh, uh, difficulty because we are, uh, we do have a formula for x um, in terms of a. So we have a equals pi x squared. dA by dx is therefore equal to 2 pi x. Now, so we've got dA by dx is equal to 2 pi x. We want to work out dx by dt. dx by dt is equal to dx by dA times by dA by dt. Right, now dx by dA, so dx by dt, that's what I, dx by dA is just the reciprocal of this. It's kind of a chain rule as well, but we don't have to write it down. That's, that's 2 pi x is uh, the chain rule. One, uh, dA by dx is reciprocal of d, uh, dx by dt. And then dA by dt we're given here. We're told that that's pi over 20. So that's quite nice because the pi's cancel. Uh, so we get that is equal to 1 over 40x. Okay, so that's dx by dt is 1. Let's write that up again. dx by dt is now 1 over 40x. So we can now say the required dv by dt is equal to dv by dx times by dx by dt. Okay, now dv by dx is equal to 18 pi x squared and dx by dt is 1 over 40 x. Some cancelling going on here. Um, now that's it, so the x can cancel here, and so we can end up and we can divide through by um, we can 9 over 20, isn't it? So it's pi 9 pi over 20 x. 
Right, now that's a general that's a general expression for dv by dt. They've asked for when it x equals to 2. So when x equals to 2, dv by dt is equal to 2 times by 9 pi over 20, which is equal to 9 pi or 9 tenths pi. And that's the answer.